Good to be with you on a Sunday night filling in for Mr. Flint. Boy, what a nice shot here. Quick fill cam, Dobbins Landing, Smugglers, Bicentennial Tower, out and about on a boat. And look at the, look at the sunshine breaking across the trees there on Presque Isle. We got clouds, sun peeking through, and uh, a nice evening despite some cloud cover in the area. As we take a look at, uh, hey, what might be happening for tomorrow on the lake, partly sunny skies, two feet or less, southwest or south winds 10 to 15, so it's another nice day. If you got some time to do some boating and fishing, water temperature just keeps going up, 67. Uh, off Waterworks Beach in Lake Erie. And of course, we're starting weather in the neighborhood this week. It's on Wednesdays as usual. If you go to yourerie.com, find the weather tab, drop down menu, it'll say weather in the neighborhood. And you can sign a form and uh, maybe we can bring you a bunch of good food and have a picnic. Check it out. It's, uh, it's on Jet Fox, your Erie Facebook, and my Facebook page too. As we go into satellite picture, you can see these clouds here that have been skirting across the area. They're all associated with the warm front. As Tommy D was telling me last night, we expect that precipitation to stay to the north, and it has. And behind it, well, there's not a lot of precipitation right now. In fact, you've got a big gap between the warm front and these storms with the cold front. So this is tomorrow right here, mainly precipitation free. The other thing about tomorrow is it's warmer. Uh, got to 76 today, low of 52. Nice day in the neighborhood. Uh, we keep building that daylight. You know, we're less than three weeks from the solstice, so we're up to 15 hours and eight minutes. Good air quality today, a warm Monday, mainly dry. Then Monday night into Tuesday, we get some showers and storms, and it turns cooler on Tuesday. 69, Doc Tom Miller's Place, Niagara Pier, 72, Becky and French Creek, and Adam Ripley in Waterford, 71, Larry and Lake City, uh, Cranesville, Dave at 75, Meadville, Cooler at 68, Kathy and Sagertown at 72, Warren Fire Department at 71, Marty and Kane 68, and Chandler's Valley, Don and Linda at 71. So comfortable temperatures. There's your warm front, precips ahead of it. It's getting away right in here. I mean, look at it, 68, 78, 82. This is coming up this away. So the 24-hour temperature change is all up. That will continue into the 80s tomorrow. Dew points, really not that impressive. So it's kind of a comfortable warm-up. And you can see tonight those clouds just lift out and go away. Winds blow out of the south. It's warmer tonight. And then as we go on into tomorrow, most of the day is dry. May get a late day shower in spots. And then tomorrow night, you start to see some more showers as well as perhaps some thunderstorms as we go through and into Tuesday. And it does get colder or cooler, I should say. Uh, tonight, nothing cool. 58 to 62, clouds leave. It's mild and dry along the lakeshore. 90 and north, including Erie. South of 90, Edinburgh, Titusville, Meadville, and Franklin becoming starlit. Not as cool as last night, 53 to 57. You guys in the mountains, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, partly cloudy to mostly clear, 48 to 54. And there you go. Sun, then the clouds come in later, but it's uh, 79 to 83. Other than a shower, we got better chances of showers and storms and breezy weather tomorrow night. 58 to 63, wet and warm there. Uh, Tuesday, showers likely, chance of a storm, but we're back down to 73. Most of Wednesday is dry. Some more showers Wednesday night into Thursday. Friday looks dry, maybe Saturday as well. And another chance of rain coming in by next Sunday. Uh, temperatures remaining close to normal. You can check the seven-day and the cameras on the weather page at yourerie.com. Back to you, Brian.